Hi, I'm Val Miller. Uh, I'm doing our assignment for week three, gender role in our society. Um, we are we were asked to uh, talk about what our thoughts on gender roles were and how society viewed um, both males and females. Um, I started out by taking the burn sex role inventory and I kind of laughed at the questions because they were all like personality questions. Um, I didn't see anything specifically on do you feel more female because of this or do you feel more male because of this. Um, so I took it. My results were I was like 4.5% uh, feminine and 5. Point two or six somewhere around there, uh, masculine. So it said that I was an, and I'm gonna pronounce this wrong, androgynous, in, in, yeah, I'm gonna butcher that. Um, which is kind of funny because I do see where it would point me more masculine. Um, there are times, not even times, there are, I do feel more masculine. Um, I have more of a um, male, what I call male brain. Um, I'm loud, I'm very competitive. Um, I want to be the leader, um, kind of demand respect. Um, I love playing sports. I love being outside. Um, I don't like talking about feelings. I don't like crying. I don't like being around quiet crying. It makes me very uncomfortable unless there's like a really good reason for it. Like, you know, you have a body part hanging off or something like that. Um, I, I like superheroes. I like, I just like more boy things. Um, or what you would typically call boy things. Um, but I also like being feminine. Um, I like my hair long and curly. I like wearing makeup. Um, I'm kind. Um, I can be compassionate uh, about certain things. Um, I'm very talkative. Um, oh, I have a harder time coming up with the female qualities of myself. Ooh. Um, but... I feel that I have these things and those that are more masculine is because I had six brothers and I was the only girl and I was the baby girl. Um, and my brothers raised me, uh, my military family. So my dad was away a lot. And by the time he got to kid number seven, you really didn't do not with him. So my brothers raised me um, and did a lot of stuff, boy stuff. Um, so my mom always called me a tomboy. So that's where I feel like I'm more masculine. Um, and, and I'm your true and total tomboy. Um, I don't think that test at all is an adequate measure of gender. Um, I think it's more of a personality quiz. And I'm sure that there will be many that would argue with me about that. Um, but it was all personality you know, do you feel you're more tender or about compassionate or things like that? And and to me, those are um, just qualities you would find in a person, not male versus female. Because I do know males that are very feminine. Um, so I don't think that scale has any value whatsoever. Um, because I do, I feel female. Um, I look female. Um... I don't feel like I look like a male, um, but I'm bigger boned and you know, I'm a little stronger and, you know, that's just the way it is for me. Um, but I did notice how it, some of the, the questions and, and stuff were, you know, leaning towards more male, more female. Um... As far as elite sports go, um, I would probably get a lot of people that disagree with me. Uh, females should be allowed to play elite sports, but I do agree with um, testing and making sure that you're female. Or, But I also agree that males should have to test too, um, because if you're playing on one sport or the other, you should be, have to prove that that's where you belong. Um, 
minus the whole transgender stuff. Um, that's all new and um, recent. Um, those people go through enough of what they're trying to deal with. Um, but I think once they have the um, gender assignment or surgery and, and everything, then they should be allowed to play on whichever side it is that they feel. Um, as far as what's most important to measure gender and what is it most important to measure sex, um, I think everybody should have to. If you're going to do it for those few, then you should have to do it for everybody. Um, that should be right from the get-go. This way there is no discrimination or hurt feelings or anything like that. Everybody should have to prove what they are. Um, and I think that's just, that's just the fairness going across the board. Um, because then it gets rid of those feelings of females that, you know, they look more masculine, um, they talk more masculine, they have more features of males than they do females, um, their breasts are not very developed, um, it takes those hurt feelings out of the way. So just test everybody across the board, said and done, you don't have to worry about anything. Um, as far as what else is involved in gender, I'm pretty cut and dry. You either have girl parts or you have boy parts. If you have girl parts, then you play in girl sports. If you have boy parts, then you play in boy sports. And the reason why I say this is because there's only a very few sports that males and females that don't have that are the same. Um, and the two, like in high school where I work, um, we allow, if there's not a female team, we allow females and males to switch. Although I have only seen females go to male sports. Um, so like in our school, um, we allow females to wrestle, but they have to pass um, a mixed competition test that's done, that's done by New York State. Um, so there's rules and regulations that they have to pass. So if they they have to pass a physical fitness test to show where they are physically, um, and then they actually have to pass a physical test to show what Tanner score they are. So, you know, are breasts developed? Do they have pubic hair? Things like that. Um, and they have to be a certain Tanner to be able to play a certain sport. Um, so the big one, like I said, wrestling is huge. We constantly have to do... Um, mixed competition testing on females so they can go into male wrestling. Um, this is really the only sport I have a problem with females being in for mixed um, because I find that listening to a lot of my male wrestlers, they have a hard time wrestling a female. Um, and here's why. They want, they don't feel comfortable where their hand placement needs to be. Um, they don't feel comfortable putting a female in a dominant position. Um, and that's the way you start out every wrestling match. Um, a lot of them will forfeit their class so they don't have to wrestle a female because they're just not comfortable. And it's very hard to ask teenage boys to wrestle teenage girls. So I don't think females should cross over into male wrestling in high school. If you know what, we should start a female wrestling team. So females wrestle females. Um, that's my feeling. Um, the other place where we've had girls go into is football because um, we don't have a girls football team. Most of them that get to be kickers. That's all they get to do. Um, so that's not really being on the football team from, you know, in my eyes. You know, a girl wants to go on a football team because they want to play football because they're good at it. They should be allowed to be more than, than kickers. Um, but I also understand why they put them at kickers. It's the same way why they put that little scrawny guy as the quarterback. Um, because you have these really big guys that are protecting them. Um, so... Even though I agree with it, I'm uncomfortable with it because I'm afraid that they're going to get hurt. Um, so as far as testing gender in sports, like I said, it just needs to be across the board. Test all the males, test all the females. Um, and then there's no questions of hurt feelings or anything, which I think is kind of funny because in elite sports, it shouldn't matter if your feelings are hurt or not. You're there to play the sport, and that's what you are supposed to do. Um... If the gender is unclear, well, like I said, test everybody. You wouldn't have a problem with there. 
Um, your question asks, what is right and what is fair? What is right and what is fair is not always the equal. Um, what is right is doing everything possible to make sure a female is a female and a male is a male. Is that right? Probably not, but that's what should be done um, medically so they don't get hurt. And that is my feeling. Um, again, whether it's right or whether it's wrong, I don't know, but that's my feeling and I'm probably part of the stereotype. And I'm okay with that.